Alex here with an event video on Alicia Adams versus Crystal Eller, a civil case accusing a newly elected district court judge in her individual capacity of, quote, crimes against the elderly, unquote. Similar accusations began bubbling up during the 2020 election and later after the election when the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department served Miss Eller with a grand jury subpoena, all of which she said she believed her then opponent, then District Court Judge Bill Kephart, was behind. I didn't get an opportunity to really address it, but my position is when a lawyer leaves a wake of victims in their legal practice, they are certainly not suited for a role as a judge. To constitute a victim by way of the law is insufferable to me as both a lawyer and a judge. I implore the viewers to watch and see what's coming down with regards to Miss Eller and her and her illegal activity uh, involving fraud. Um, you need to ask her about her involvement with uh, a couple ex-felons or one ex-felon and a bunch of victims. There's three different criminal complaints coming out of different states against her for her fraud involving elderly fraud. Uh, well, obviously I have to address what Judge Kephart just said. Um, I have no idea what he's talking about. I Clearly if you. some complaints come down, then I will be addressing them. I don't have any idea what he's talking about. The 11 plaintiffs bringing the civil action accuse Ms. Eller of civil conspiracy in marketing and selling fraudulent mortgage assistance and relief services through, quote, predatory and aggressive sales tactics, unquote. Ms. Eller vehemently denies the allegations lodged against her in the complaint and asserts that the complaint is nothing more than a baseless attempt fueled by a personal vendetta to meddle in her career, adding that she believes her former friend, attorney Teresa Maines, motivated by revenge, is behind the lawsuit as it appears consistent with, quote, a relentless smear campaign, unquote, that started during her judicial candidacy. Ms. Eller supports her request to dismiss the lawsuit with a timeline detailing her friendship with Ms. Maines, her candidacy against then District Court Judge Kephart, and an assertion that the Attorney General's office declined to take any action against her, despite considerations of the same accusations. The plaintiffs denounce Ms. Eller's statements as quote-unquote scandalous and outside the boundaries of what the court can consider at this early juncture in the case, confronting separately her assertions that the statute of limitations bars any recovery anyway. District Court Judge Kathleen Delaney has granted our media request, authorizing indefinite electronic coverage of these proceedings, the first hearing of which is February 23rd at 9 a.m. The plaintiffs are represented by Trevor Hatfield. Ms. Eller is represented by Anthony Sgarro and Elena Bondi. You can keep up to date on our coverage schedule by visiting rnevadajudges.com. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below, or you can send us an email at admin at rnevadajudges.com. Court has a few comments before we begin. We are on the record in the matter, case D five zero five. You guys either agree. Or I order. I don't hear anyone saying she can't order a change of custody if she follows the right procedure. There must be an evaluation of the best interest. You're going to convince me to hold your client in contempt.
to raise your right hands, face the court clerk to be sworn. Ladies and gentlemen, it continues around all time. 